Hey guys, welcome back to ARK. This is going to be episode 9, I do believe. So in the last episode, um, we did the dino train. We got all of our guys over here to where we're going to build our permanent base. Um, and in today's episode, I wanted to explore the building mechanics behind the tree platforms. Um, I only played around with them a little bit when they first came out, which was years ago. Um, but S Plus has their own tree platforms, and I was really hoping that these platforms had their own snap points because they actually come with a whole bunch of unique pieces that are not part of the base game. Um, but it does not look like it has a snap point. <laughs> so I'll, I'll show you guys what I have discovered. Um, oh, and really quick, uh, I did build... Hold on a second. Oh no! Wrong button. <laughs> oh, what a way to start. Oh, I found an ascendant uh, pike though. Here, let's kill these guys. Oh, never mind. I don't want none. All right, well, this is an easy fix. I mean, I, it took, I took some damage, but I'll be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Plymouth to get down here. All right, well, anyway, now that we're off to a lousy start. Come on, Plymouth. There you go. Poop missile right on top of me. All right. Let's go up. Anyway, I was in orbit camera and totally forgot all of my controls for a second. <laughs> okay. So now that we're here, I'll tell you to stop. You can see I oh the Yankee managed to get over there. The Yankee's supposed to be there, but um, I built a little shack shed. I'm not even sure what you would call this. I don't really want to call it a barn, um, but I bought something for or bought something. I built something. Excuse me. I built something for our dinosaurs to sit under. I went to the cave for the artifact of the clever, and I got the pooponator out. Um, it was just closer to bring him over here that rather than take him to the other one. He doesn't have any poop or anything in him. I suppose I should probably start putting stuff in him, but... Um, I also built a little uh, temporary workshop, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, it's just got, you know, the basics in it, some chests for storage, our crafting benches. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in this spot. Um, originally, I was thinking that all of this would have to somehow go over there, but I had way more space here than I thought I was going to. And I managed to squeeze some chests here underneath the table, so I have some storage for this stuff over here. Um, I also brought a preserving bin, and I've got, I took all the narcos and, or narco, narco berries, excuse me. I took all the narco berries and the spilled meat from our other base and brought them over here. That way, if we need to make narcotics, although I can't, I don't really foresee us needing to make them for anything, because I don't plan on taming anything. Um, but I have it just in case. So, I, I crafted uh, a single tree platform, and I crafted one of each of the Structures Plus uh, special pieces. So this, this is a Structures Plus platform, um, but I can demolish it or pick it up. That's it. So, I was messing around with snap points. Now, these pieces are a little strange. So, they don't snap to, let's see, like this is the hollow wedge. So, it'll snap to that one that I placed down. Here, let me... Uh, I'll pick it up in a second. It takes a minute, like a minute to pick that up. And then there's this. Okay. See, now I could get that to snap. I wonder if I could just get, like, another one of these to snap this way. And then pick that up. Oh my gosh, that would be so expensive to test. Um, and then there's this hollow wedge where, you know, it gives you, you know, a nice big hole if you wanted to, like, make multiple floors. Um, now... The problem here is I've discovered there is no snap point on these platforms, like I thought there was. Which is a little bit of a bummer, and it doesn't seem like there's a snap point on these either. This is kind of, like, why. Um, but I did notice there's a snap point for this, right here along the edge. So I'm wondering, my, uh, my thought process here... Oh, I'm hungry, hold on. Probably because I just fell, like, a hundred feet. <laughs> uh, let's pick these up. They take a good minute to pick up. And I tried picking it up with the gun. Um, that doesn't... Oh, crud. <laughs> Boy, I am off to all kinds of a good start today, huh? Uh, Plymouth, can I even see you from there? Hold on a second. I mean, his name is there. Uh, whistle follow one. Can you come down here, Plymouth? Buddy? Pal? There he is. Alright, let's get back up there. Alright, come here. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Alright, I want you 
to stay right there. Now, let's see if we can pick this one up without falling. Okay. Hopefully we don't fall this time. Okay, good. Alright. So, what I'm thinking I want to do, first of all, is... That wedge can't stay where I originally had it. Um, I was thinking that I would place this here and I would just put a wedge around the entire tree. Um, and then I could kind of like have like a makeshift tree platform, but it sticks out on the other side, which means the center would not be in the center of the tree like I had hoped. So what we're going to do instead, I don't know why I put that away, is so we're going to start with that for a second. And then it looked like there was four, so let's craft uh, four of these. Let's craft four of these. Now, did these snap? Oh no, they don't. So I wonder why the railings snap, but nothing else does. I wonder if, uh, you know what? Give me a railing. We're figuring this out together, guys. Um, there's, pe there's probably people out there that have played Structures Plus and they're just like, you're an idiot. Um, so if I switch this to a half wall, can I put a ceiling on top of it? Crafting. Let's just make one for now. I don't want to waste too, too many resources doing this. Oh. I can snap a ceiling underneath it for some reason. But I don't know that I like that because I can't see it now. Um, I see now. And what happens if I pick this up? Nothing. The ceiling is still there. Um, and there'd be, like, no way for me to get it whatsoever, though, would there? Um... Okay, so that ceiling is just there, permanently. There's nothing we can do about it. Alright, let's put the railing back. Wait, I want it on this side. Um, definitely want it on this side. Okay. And we will switch it back to a half wall. And I guess we'll make a whole other ceiling. See, now, the only thing I don't like about this is I don't want it to be that high up. <sighs> but I can't, I also can't see. Because now what we could do, I mean, I guess if it has to be just a tad higher than, you know, than I wanted. So long as we had snap points. Yeah, see, then I could do that. And then we could remove the ceiling. Uh... No, don't pick up the wooden foundation. I want the ceiling. We can pick up... We can't pick up the ceiling. Because the foundation is there? Maybe it's in it. I don't know. And then I could pick up the railing. But no matter how hard I try... Is there a separate piece anywhere here? Oh, there it was for like a second, guys. No. Oh, right there. Okay. All right, we got the ceiling. Well, now, my next question, I guess, is if I craft three of these... Okay, perfect. So now comes the fun part. I want to pick this up and see if these don't break. <sighs> okay. Alright, we may have figured something out, because now I can do that. I mean, I would have to do it separately on each individual uh, section here, because now I would have to do that again. <laughs> and do that again. Oh, except that I don't know if that's on the right spot. Okay. Well, I'm not going to make you guys sit through each individual section. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably get all these sections done. And then I'll bring you guys back. And I might actually make them out of stone. Um, I don't know, because it's a tree platform, you know? It'll probably look better made out of wood, but... Part of me wants the base to be made out of stone. I mean, metal would be, you know, obviously... the big one. Metal would be nice, but... 
Mm, we can't do metal for sure. Okay. All right. Well, I will probably at least get this covered and then I will bring you guys back. Hey guys, we're back. So, um, obviously you can see here, I, I started going around the outside of this, um, and I figured something out and I kind of wanted to share with you guys just cause like I said, I'm sure people watching this that know structures plus probably think I'm an idiot for not being able to figure things out. But this is the first time I've ever used it. Um, and I have to learn everything. <laughs> uh, so I don't, uh, I, I can't talk right now. I didn't end up needing the wedges. I, I figured out that these railings actually snap right to the platform. I don't know why I never thought to check that to begin with. And then I also figured out that the ceiling just snaps right to the railing. It doesn't have to be a half wall, which again, I, I don't know why I, I thought it had to be. And then I could just place that there and I'm able to get both of these back, which is fantastic. Uh, and I did decide to go with stone foundations because I just, I feel like they just look nicer. So this is what we've been doing. Uh, I want that. Oh, crud. You know, it's crazy. Um, I always seem to do that on camera more than off. Can I even call you from there? Okay, perfect. Come on, Plymouth. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, Q? That's that way, I think? Thank you, pal. <laughs> Alright, well... Just add that to the list. Probably gonna fall off of that so many times doing this. Um, I didn't get my railing back yet, did I? Okay, well I want that. Hold on. I need that. Alright, perfect. Perfect, look at that! Okay, don't fall off the edge. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's put this gun away before we pick something up. There we go, look at that! So now I just have to fill it in. Um... And then start putting walls on it and figuring out how we want the layout and stuff to be. So I will see you guys after I get this completely filled in. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I finished covering the platform in foundations. I tried to keep it, uh, like the pattern, the same. But there were certain ones for whatever reason, which is crazy to me for Structures Plus. But there are certain ones that like it wouldn't let me place. I had to place them a certain way. So what I ended up doing is I took... Um, I made like a plus, like I started on this side and I went all the way into the center of the tree here, did the same thing on the other side, and then I did, you know, this end and that end, and then I just kind of filled in these other ones, you know, where it would let me. You can see here that some of them, like, it, it just kind of is all over. So, but it is completely done now. I'm hoping that we'll be able to build walls on, this, on the outside here, and I'm not sure how I want to do, like, the rooms in the center. Um, I was really hoping that I could just do all four of these going into the center on each uh, section here, it just, it wouldn't let me do that. So it's gonna be interesting to say the least to see how, um, like how it lets me place walls and such. I guess the first order of business would be to place walls all around the outside. Um, but I do want some dinosaur gates too. And you know something else I was thinking about? And I don't know how I would tackle it because of this giant rock right here. But I was actually thinking of building a bridge over across the river here to this side. Um, I mean, it would be a monumental task for sure. But I really think that that would... Because here's my thing. Like, yes, I can take the RG and pick the Yankee up and stuff. But, I mean, there's stuff on that side of the island. And we're just we're in one of those positions here where if I wanted to get down over there with any of the other dinosaurs... Um, or even like my theory, then I gotta walk all the way down and around. Or I mean, I guess I could jump them off into the water, but I mean, I still have to get all the way around up on, you know, that side of the cliff. So, I'm thinking about building a bridge. I was gonna put it like right at the top of this rock, and then have it go down over there. Um, that could work, but I mean, having to build something up to this rock would be a pain in the butt. Um, and of course the fog is setting in, so now I can't even show you guys what I wanted to like do. Um, I guess while the fog is here, let me craft up some walls and stuff, and uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back when I can play stuff. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I'm thinking that's probably going to be the best place for like a front door of sorts. Uh, and I definitely want it to be tall enough to get dinos in. 
So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. And this should be big enough to land, like, land the RG and then go inside. Um, I did build two doors. Uh, auto close only. So I, bit, I did build two doors, but I'm not sure if I want to place one, like, exactly on the other side. I mean, we could. That's not the exact other side, right? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me think here. Oh, I put that on the wrong one. Okay, well, that's an easy fix. That's a really easy fix. Let's, uh, open that up. And we're gonna pick all this up. The door up. Pick that up. Okay. So I want it over here. Yeah. And then I think what we'll do... There we go. Perfect. And place these down. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect, because that's, like, directly out to the water there. And then, yeah, you know what? Let's place one on the other side, because then it would probably be easier to, like, just go straight up to the mountain from here. Uh, anytime that we needed metal. So let's place another one of these here. And the rest of these. Okay. Whoops, place that down. Okay. So now, let's get on the RG here. Oh, I didn't place the other door? Oh, I guess I didn't. Alright, let's, uh... Can I do it here? Auto-close only? And then we'll do that on this side as well. Um... Yeah, for now. For now. I might have to change them back to auto. Uh, like, fully auto, but we'll see. We'll see. So, let's come over here. Now, the only thing is, I'm not a huge fan of, like... <laughs> how plain that looks. Um, so I may mess around with, like, triangle uh, walls, well, triangle walls, slope walls and stuff, just to make it look like it's got, I don't know, proper support, <laughs> I guess. Because um, I'm not a huge fan of, like, it just being, like, a flat platform that goes out. But you can see here, we'll just be able to land the RG and walk them right in. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then, the other thing I was thinking about is, I don't know if I should place... Hmm... See, that's the only thing that's gonna be a problem, because I don't have, like, my own little, uh, way down. Down to all that, if I need to. But I don't want to place another door. Um, you know what I could do, is I could just... I mean, is it... Would it look really bad if we placed, um... Like, uh, hmm, let's take a look here. I'm thinking that maybe what we need to do is place a, um, I can't think of the word for some reason, a hatch frame on this side so that we can get down. But I'm worried about that ladder just kind of being there. Like, I feel like maybe we'll just have to, you know what, for now, how about this? For now, I won't even worry about it. We have our RG. Um, let's grab some of these. I wanted to show you guys the design I'm going for. Alright, and we'll, we'll just start over here by this door. Why not? So I'm thinking, if we do this... Sorry if you can hear the clicking of my keyboard. My ridiculously loud mechanical keyboard. <laughs> It's a shame that they're so loud, because it's it's honestly, like, I don't know, I, I like the mechanical keyboards. The the keys just... Oops, that's not what I wanted. The keys just... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. They just feel better. So I can't place that there for some reason. Is there a reason you're not letting me... Can I place it and then place one here? Okay, we'll have to figure that out. I can't place one here either. Uh... Uh, okay guys, I'm not 100% sure why the audio is gone right here, but um, my mic actually didn't record the rest of this episode for some reason, um, so I have no idea what I said for any of it, but you can see here this is the, the plan that I got going, so it's going to be one row of stone, two rows of glass walls, and then another row of stone walls, and I'm hoping to do that around the entire thing. Um, I don't know why, I just I just like the way it looks when it comes to tree platforms. I think this is exactly what I did the first time that I ever messed around with them. 
Um, or it might have been like wood and greenhouse, but yeah, I don't know why. I just I just like the way it looks. Um, and I don't know how high up um, the like if, it, if we're gonna put another floor on it or not. Uh, this is four walls high, which is really probably all we're really gonna need. I don't anticipate that we're gonna need uh, anything much bigger than this. Um, so, th I mean, the hardest part <laughs> about this whole project, okay, I, I, I was able to craft some more. So the hardest part about the whole project is, is cementing paste for, for sure, because as it is right now, um, I started to run out of cementing paste for these walls. Now, metal we're really good on. Uh, the Anki, actually, I got her, her weight up pretty good. I can completely fill a forge now with all the metal I can bring back on the Anki. So, um, metal I'm not worried about, but cementing paste is a real challenge. Um, I think near the end of this episode, uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna actually... I'm gonna try anyway, <laughs> try and find some beaver dams to show you guys. You can actually get cementing paste from the beaver dams. So uh, typically what'll happen is they'll have like a couple of stacks of cementing paste, some rare mushrooms, some rare flowers, and then a bunch of wood in them. And now the thing is, is that when you go and you interact with these beaver dams, the beavers don't like it, of course. So they actually get incredibly aggressive and they will attack you. Uh, it's, it's kind of a good tactic to get them to come to you if you're trying to figure out... Oh, here I'm just counting. I, I'm just trying to count how many I needed. <laughs> um, I still don't even remember what the total number was. But um, the beavers, if you need them to come to you, I suppose, you know, you could uh, open up their dam and... They'll come right to you. They definitely don't like that. It's almost like egg aggro. Like, if you steal a dinosaur's egg, most of the dinosaurs, even the non-aggressive ones, except for, like, I think the Parasaur. I think the Parasaur still doesn't care. Like, Parasaur is just afraid of everything. You take his egg, that's all yours now. Um, yeah, here I think is where I'm going to come to the realization that I have no cementing paste, because we need, what is that, 38, okay. Yeah. And we're, like, out of cementing paste. Yeah. Crystal's not a problem. Crystal, we have over at our other base. There's actually a lot of it. Uh, and I just have to go and get that. And I do. I'm not in this episode. I get that off camera. I went all the way over there and I got the crystal with the RG um, from when we took the Inky to the volcano. So, crystal I'm not worried about, but cementing paste, you guys. Cementing paste is such a problem. Um, so... There's a couple of options when it comes to cementing paste, uh, aside from, you know, going to the beaver dams, which is a pretty decent way of getting it, assuming, you know, <laughs> you can find beaver dams. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can kill anything that drops, like, chitin or keratin, because to make cementing paste, you need chitin or keratin, and you need stone. And you just put that in the mortar and the pestle, and, you know, you craft it up that way. The problem is, it, gathering that stuff is not easy. Not even a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys where a couple of beaver spawns are. Uh, here, I think I was explaining up there at the River Fork is the first place there that um, that I like to go to. They they tend to spawn right there and that where that River Fork's off. Um, but anyway, so what we're gonna do and what we end up doing actually in the next episode because I actually already have that recorded. Oh hold on a second, it looks like my mic mate might be coming back here. Oh, no, it's just a whistle. Just a whistle. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in my editing program right now, just kind of watching it, and I'm looking for little spikes in the audio, but yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know why my mic completely got out. Um, so anyway, uh, in the next episode, um, we're gonna go caving. Um, we're gonna go, I wasn't originally gonna get, like, go, out of, go after the artifact, but we gotta go to the cave. We might as well. So, um, I have tamed a, um, a can't think of the word, <laughs> a saber tooth between this episode and the next episode to go caving with, um, and I'm gonna have her, like, leveled up and stuff, and you guys won't have to watch any of that, we'll get that all taken care of off camera for you. and then we are gonna go after the artifact of the clever in the next episode, because just, if I were to try and run around the islands, even with a saber tooth, now saber tooth is probably the best thing for getting stuff like chitin and keratin, because they harvest, like, hide and stuff, so... Even if I were to take a saber tooth and just kind of run up and down the beaches of, like, the redwoods, most of the bug spawn, or even in the swamp, I mean, it would just, it would take so long to get all the chitin that we need. Okay, so yeah, here, um, 
there weren't any beavers. There weren't any beaver dams, which is strange because it's been a little while since I tamed Bella, uh, which is our beaver, and this is where I got her from. So I'm not 100% sure why I'm having such a problem with dinosaurs spawning. Up here along this river is actually another place that beavers spawn, and for whatever reason, there weren't any um, beaver dams here either. There weren't even beavers here, so I don't know if, like, I'm just really unlucky and they're getting killed, or if they're really not spawning back in. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, they should be, like, right here by this waterfall and behind me. Yeah, like, right at that area is where the beavers spawn, and they're not there. Um, and it's been a good, good few hours since I tamed Bella, and they shouldn't be taking that long to spawn back in. So, there is also... A little pond up here where the beavers spawn and I think that's where I'm gonna go now uh oh uh, I got a notification if you guys heard that I apologize I'm not sure what the uh, my recording thing is actually picking up <laughs> but anyway um, we're gonna go over to the pond over here to the north and I believe I find beavers there but there's still no beaver dams <laughs> So I have no idea what's going on with that. Uh, in the next episode, I, I did end up doing a dino wipe just to reset everything because I'm having a lot of problems getting things spawning back in. Um, and it happens sometimes. I don't know if it maybe there's a configuration setting. Oh, I think um, I think right there I was mentioning that uh, somebody told me once a beaver spawn in that bay, and I've never seen them there. I don't know if anybody watching this, if, if you've seen beavers there, that's great. Um, me personally, I've never seen them there, ever. Uh, this pond here will usually have about two beavers. And you can usually have at least two beaver dams too, but I flew all over the area a couple of times after this, you know, just to come back, and I did not find any beaver dams whatsoever. Um, and you can see here that after seven years, the devs still don't have this foliage figured out. <laughs> like, all that grass is still floating in the water. Um, maybe there wasn't any beavers here. I don't actually remember. I thought I saw two of them, but honestly, I've been back to this pond probably about six or seven times, uh, just today alone. So, it's, it, it all kind of blends together. I'm not even sure, but I do know that I'm not going to find any more beaver dams on camera for you guys during this episode. I really was hoping to, so that I could show off, like, how you can, you know, get stuff out of them. Um, but I know for a fact that there's no more, um... There's, there's definitely no... I don't find any more beaver dams. And I end up actually having to just go back to base. And since you're not going to miss anything, I figure that, you know what, I'll probably just end it right here, guys. Um, and thank you guys so much for joining me and for watching. And I hope everybody has a good rest of the day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys!